A couple of months have been rather eventful for you. Let's start with Saturday. You announced that you'll be vying uh, to be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. A couple of months ago, we also saw you in a very elaborate ceremony, coronated as the spokesperson of the Mount Kenya region. A series of dazzling events in a very short time, is how some would put it. Now, observers have asked this question, and I'll ask it to you right now. Are you your own man? Maura, thank you very much, uh, and um, thank you, viewers. Um, I'd like everybody to know that uh, I have uh, done all my things at my time, at my pace. And uh, therefore, it is fair and uh, opportune for me to make it absolutely clear to everybody that I am my own man. Because there are many who feel that you are potentially someone's project, the series of things that have happened over the last couple of months are, are, are draw suspicion to that. But fortunately, speaker. fortunately, you know, there's nothing really that has happened that um, can be seen to, for you, to me to have been um, out of ordinary or even earth shaking. It is just that uh, in politics, you, you, you use your best uh, formula, what you consider to be your best formula to achieve what you think, uh, what you have set yourself to, to, to do. And therefore, I used my own system, uh, made the various uh, steps, making sure that everything was done in accordance with uh, what I desired to achieve at every step. And therefore, there's been nothing that has been um, dazzling. For me, for instance, me, you know, I've been a member of parliament, yeah, two-term member of parliament for Siakago. And uh, therefore, these, uh, these games are things that are well known to me, and uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a greenhorn. And I believe we'll be talking about those games a bit later on. I don't mean to cast aspersions on your bid for the presidency, but what do you bring to the table? Do you bring numbers, voters? Do you bring networks? What do you bring to the table? Um, a lot of things. Name one. One of them, uh, I mean, uh, Maura, as uh, everybody knows, having sat for now nearly 10 years as speaker, uh, you know that that is really the, the center of uh, politics. If it is any government policy that is trans to be translated into legislation, uh, I'm able to follow from, I've been able to follow from beginning to the end. And uh, I therefore have gained quite a lot. And in the process also, uh, Maura, the fact that um, I've been sitting, holding forth for this many years is, has also allowed me an opportunity to get, to get a deeper understanding of uh, various places of this country. You may have noticed that, even not just now, mm -hmm. even in the last parliament, I would go out to visit members in their constituencies. And therefore, I can say I have created a good rapport, both with the members and with the, some of the electorates in those places. I therefore bring um, serious uh, strategies and ideas about um, what it takes to lead the country. And, and we'll interrogate some of those ideas, you know, in the course of this uh, discussion. But I want to drill in a little bit on, on something that caught the attention of many Kenyans recently when you were coronated as the spokesperson of the Mount Kenya region. Whose initiative was that, Honorable Speaker? Let me begin by saying that um, this it was not new. It was not uh, something that happened, uh, you know, just in the month of uh, May or the earlier one in uh, Meru in March. It, is, it has been a long process of consultations. Uh, you know, these are not things that uh, <clears throat> you do with um, just every Tom, Dick, and Harry. So there has been uh, a series of consultations with uh, many elders, cultural leaders, and, uh, you know, from generally, mainly from the mountain region. And uh, even when they approached me, uh, I had to, I, I did not, immediately accept. So they approached you? Yes, yes. And uh, I had to tell them I needed to do consultation further, wider consultations with many, many people from various corners. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, after I, and, uh, I felt that, well, and consulted sufficiently, decided, okay, fine, let me, what else 
Imaiza, would I be required to do to attain a particular <coughs> status? And that's how we started both in Embu, went on to Meru, then Chorincheke, a respected uh, you know, mm -hmm. council of elders, and then finally to the the rest of the of mount, the mountain. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm curious to know if they approached you on their own volition or if, or if there's another force behind the elders. Would you be able to speak to that? I doubt that they, 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 they were under any force because, um, you know, the, this, these consultations begin not, you don't get a delegation. You get a few people, they come and discuss with you and tell you what, they, what their perceptions about um, you know, how things are happening in the country and what is the potence, what is the future, how the future looks like. And you see, from a, a one day's discussion into another one, another month, another month, and like that. You, you make it count, sound quite simple, but it also looked quite elaborate. For example, we know at some point you went into some form of self-isolation. I don't know if it was in this residence or somewhere else. What was that about? Yeah, it's part, part of the cultural. You know, remember our constitution, the current constitution, mm -hmm. As, uh, as provided for culture, very, very in a very elaborate way, both in uh, you know in Article 40, uh, 44 and in Article 11, it's about culture and the other one, culture and language, and therefore I had to go to those things to understand what does it entail. You know, there are certain things you are not supposed to do. You talk about eight days in a forest somewhere. Yeah, you know, even that, you know, being be, be, being away from people from many people, mm -hmm. uh, crowds, you know, you're not supposed to, to get uh, annoyed, you know, it's not supposed to eat certain foods and things like those. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, it's a okay. nice, it's a nice uh, thing to do. Okay, I'm sure you're, you're helping some Kenyans understand exactly what was going on at that time. I have a lot more questions for you. You've been Speaker of the National Assembly since 2013. We want to talk about your record and how that is linked with your agenda should mm -hmm. you become the president and why Kenyans should be listening to you this evening, uh, Mr. Speaker. So we'll be getting to that in just a bit. Remember, you can keep sending in your questions. 22422 is the SMS line, and the hashtag is Newsnight as well. We are live from the Nairobi home of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Muturi, arguably the third in command as per the Constitution. And he says he's ready to cross over from the legislative to the executive but what's his game plan? We'll be interrogating that and so much more on the program this evening. But also, here's what's coming up.